Hi, today we're going to see how to create a sliced text effect in GIMP. So first, let's create a new image by going to File, New, press OK. To zoom out, press the minus key on your keyboard and to zoom in, press the plus key on your keyboard. So let's press the minus key to zoom out here. Let's change the color of our background to a dark shade of pink like this just drag it over so let's take our text tool and change our foreground color to white let's type our word here sliced control a to select all the text and then change the font size to 350 press enter now, Let's take our alignment tool and align it in the center of the image, like this, the horizontal and vertical axis. Let's take our rotation tool and rotate our text a little bit like this. Press enter. And now let's take our paths tool and make selection. Our text like this. Here here and press control in order to link the last node with the first one press enter to confirm the selection and now control x to cut layer text layer sorry and then control v to pass the text layer paste it on a new layer by clicking on this icon create a new layer and add it to the image like this as you can see now press the move tool and zoom in by pressing the plus key on your keyboard. Now let's move our text a little bit like this. Okay, let's zoom out. And now let's create a new layer. And that's where we're going to put our shadow. But this is what is going to make a the sliced effect realistic so let's take our paintbrush tool the size is 120 as you can here are the option tool i'm using and now left click where you want to start here I'm go sorry control z and change the foreground to black and now just left click like this and then press shift you're going, you, you're going to be able to draw a line over your layer text and then press where you want here like this and now let's go to our filters tab blur gaussian blur let's make our blur to 25 this press ok let's go to our path tab and let's make selection from our path by going by clicking on this icon path to selection let's go to our layers tab and go to the shadow layer this one and then press delete it will delete the shadow over the shadow that is on top and keep the one down select none now if you have these kind of you can small perfections here just take the eraser tool and erase it like this You don't like for example what you have done you can just press ctrl z to go back and here it is let's zoom as you can see there's small there are some white traces like this so this is due to our to the 
text that is down that is below so I'll just drag it a little bit like this sorry control Z to undo what you have done like this and here it is now if you want to just keep this one just go new from visible it will save what is on the canva as you can see like this and here it is you'll be able to move it yes like this or change its size Control z to undo here it is well that's all i think thanks for watching and uh, till next time